Hello, hello, familia. Welcome. My name is Magda and Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to all my oldies and goodies. Makeup releases have been on one lately and I love it so much. So Kosa's released this Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. That's a long name. It's reminding us of these two. What I'm going to do, what am I doing? I forgot. It's early. It's 6 30 in the morning, but I'm happy I woke up because I almost snoozed and I was like, you know what? Get your ass up. And I did. I did my skincare about 20 minutes ago. So let's prime the skin first because you guys know we're going to do a full face and an all day wear touch. With this primer, we have to let it absorb into the skin as long as possible. I usually let it really dry down and absorb for about five minutes. So I'll be back. So I have two shades. I have light medium champagne and medium rose gold. I'm thinking I like this one a little bit because you see it has a bit of coolness. This rose gold one is very gold. So let's see. Okay, this is how the bottle looks. It's nice. It comes in a one ounce bottle so you get a good amount. How big is like the L for example? 1.06 and I have the mini here. Closest to my fingers is light medium. And then it's going to be medium closest to my wrist. Let's touch. It's lightweight. A lot more lightweight than those two. Light, medium, and medium. Yeah, I think I'm liking this one. But you see the glow? It's lightweight. That's what I'm really surprised about. Let me show you the e.l.f. really quick. I'm in the shade 4. I'm going to put e.l.f. right here. Let me touch it. Yeah, e.l.f. is a little bit thicker. Yeah, a little more moisturizing. And let's do Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in the shade, this is like 4.5. And the thing about e.l.f., that one really feels like the Charlotte Tilbury one. That was why it went so viral because legit. Yeah, so you see the, the glowiness of all of them. We got a little something. These are definitely different from these in texture but when it comes to like shine and glowiness see charlotte tilbury is a bit subtle we have a good amount of glow here and elf is glowy as well now that i'm looking at it i feel like kosas is getting a little bit shinier if you let it dry down it becomes thicker so this is the light medium the one that we said was cooler and then this is the medium that is that champagne color I kind of like, they're both really good, but let's go with the medium. Turn off the lights. So light medium and the gold. Which one do you think looks best? I'm thinking this one, light medium. If you're not familiar, the idea of these glow products is to just give the skin a nice glow from within kind of thing. Here, let me add the swatch and then. And what I like to do is, Usually, I like to add it all over. I do have oily skin, so anytime I use these products, I make sure to set my skin well and use a bit of a mattifying foundation. And you can use this under foundation, over foundation, but it's very lightweight and subtle. I would say it's more subtle than e.l.f. now that I have it on. I'm going to get a brush and apply this side and then give you more info about this product. The new Kosa's IV Vitamin Infused Skin Illuminating Enhancer retails for $38. It comes in 10 shades. I am in the shade Light Medium Champagne. This is a clean vitamin infused skin enhancer that instantly activates a lit up glow. The highlighted ingredients is Vita Glow D Botanical Complex that visibly enhances luminosity and hydration, glutathione, wellness nutrient, and antioxidant that defends against visible signs of aging, algae extract that nourishes skin with polysaccharides, peptides, and amino acids. I purchased mine at Sephora. Now that I'm blending it out with a brush, it has more of a glitter feel to it, and I don't like that. That's not, that, uh -uh. because it's subtle though. You have to really get really little. You have to really, my retainer, you have to really get all up in the skin to see it. I don't know if you can see on the swatch that like tin looking 
is because it has that glitter. The Charlotte Tilbury or the Elf, you see how it just remains this glossy as opposed to here, it's just flat on the skin. These have more of a hydrating feel and it's also in a gloss type where those highlighted particles don't really come out as glitter. And here it is glitter. And here, let me show you. You see like you can see kind of like little glitter speck, spectacle, speckles, yeah. Is that what it is? The hand doesn't show that glitter side as much as a brush did. So that's interesting, huh? Okay, I don't want to wash my hand. Oh, I have a palette here. Hold on, let me get let me get organized here. I don't like to be a complete mess. I'll be a little mess. Okay, I have my little palette here from M Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use this NARS foundation. Let me shake it. I'm gonna use a little bit here. It's a little deeper. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my white concealer from LA Girl. You could also use like a lighter concealer. You could tell I use this a lot. Anytime I do my friend's makeup and if they're lighter than me, I'll just kind of this. And you know what? Let's just use this brush since we already have product in it. So I'm gonna go on top and let's beat this up really quick. So because this foundation is super matte, you don't see the glow particles, but part of this type of product is that it glows through time, through body warmth, through the hours. I kind of like that because for us oily girls, you see a little bit of radiance, but not too much. This is a soft matte foundation, but I would call it like matte matte. It looks nice and smooth. Look at that. It looks really good. Dang, okay. NARS and Kosas. I feel like this is just like a match made in heaven. Hmm, cool. It's seven, not seven, 650, but I do want to add a little bit more. So let's, now that I'm feeling all cool, wow, I'm squeezing it like this. Now that I'm feeling all cool, let's add a little more to my palette. Let's use our finger, cause we did like that better. Here, here, just a little bit. You see how it's just a little glowy? I am seeing the glitter on my fingers. You see that? You wanna make sure your sponge is not too wet and that it's damp. So let's blend up. Crap, the thing's like drying down. Let me just grab a little bit on my spongies. It's cute, it looks cute. You see it added a lot more glow. Okay, building on top of foundation really well. You see that? Like you don't see that spot. You see how nicely, you see how nicely it's blended into the foundation and the skin. That looks really good. Dang, okay. You see right here though, but also it kind of becomes this glitter business. So good. Blend. These are the areas where the sun naturally highlights your skin, which is why I put it on here. Let me finish up the face. I'm gonna powder and do all that. I won't add pr this product on top of powder. Yeah, because I remember I did that with Charlotte Tilbury and that was a hot mess. Actually, let's heat it up. Let's heat the face up. You guys, no lie, I am feeling my makeup so much today. That MAC Studio Fix be just hooking the skin up. And the reason I added a foundation, oh my God, this retainer. The reason I added a foundation powder was to kind of mattify us up a little bit, really seal our foundation. And this, what is this called? 
skin enhancer. Skin looks beautiful from here. Like what? Everything's like really well put together. You see the glow a little bit, right? However, when I set it, when I put powders on, all that jazz, the glitter came. But the thing is, you can't see it here. Like you see, oh, here, you see the glitter? I didn't add any highlights or anything. You can really see the glitter down here on my lip on the cupid's bow. Wait a minute. It's just the powder and this, the, they clashed because now I'm kind of like glittery. And I wash my hands and I try to not wash this side, the swatch side, because I want to show you. Let me get my phone because you need to see this. Here we go. So you see that? You see here, the two right there. You see the glitter one, especially in the lighter shade. And then this is the elf and then this is the charlotte tilbury that's what's happening on my skin right now so that's just not a good look i personally dislike glitter i do not like glitter at all it just sits around the skin way too long maybe i'll just get better throughout the day because that always happens skin warmth be hooking things up and body warmth may just like work best with this my lip color is total baller from nyx captivated from maybelline so i'm gonna go in the car and go find a spot with the sun and then see you later bye the sun is not out this is what i'm saying like you see how i feel like now it's kind of sitting on top of the skin that's where that like glitter stuff is what do you think the skin looks good but i just feel like it's also gonna look best when the skin warms up you know i don't know what you think what you think it's not giving me a lot right now okay Ciao. Oh, familia, I'm back. Oh, you guys, it is late. It's been all day long. But of course, you know, I got some footage for you at around two o'clock and I don't really see much radiance going on. I feel like my oils are coming through. Everything's looking pretty much how we left off. It's been what, about 15 hours. This is how the skin looks. It honestly looks like my regular oily skin just radiating through, especially because we use matte products, setting powder, and foundation powder. You see, I don't see anything spectacular here. And I don't see the glitter particles as much anymore. And I think that's just the warmth of the skin. This product falls apart if you put anything other than foundation or wear it on bare skin. I think this is just what it's meant to do. Unlike the Charlotte Tilbury and the e.l.f. products, they work well with foundation on skin, over foundation. It radiates through powder, especially throughout the day. Here, it's kind of like if you have dry skin, I don't even think you would see the radiance that this product is supposed to give us. It's okay in the sense if you just don't wear makeup and you want a little bit of color and a little bit of glow, this is nice, but you also do have a $14 one that is a lot better. Is the product horrible? No, but it kind of reminds me of the Fenty. This one, the Easy Drop Lit. Similarly, it just kind of fell apart. It didn't really have pigment. It didn't give us that nice glow that the Charlotte Tilbury and the e.l.f. do. I wish it would have worked out a little bit better, but I don't think a product is good if it's not going to work with powder because us with oily skin, we have to powder down somewhat. You don't have to necessarily powder as much as I do, but we have to powder down because then we're going to be looking like a greasy mess. No lie, my makeup's still looking good. I definitely don't look gastada, like at all. This is unfortunately a no for me. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't buy it. I definitely recommend the e.l.f. The Charlotte Tilbury one is good too, but this is legit an exact dupe. But this is it, fam. I love you guys so much. Please, please let me know your thoughts on this. I absolutely love Kosas. I love the brand. I love that it's a woman-owned brand. All the products have been amazing. Just this one just didn't work out for me, especially the way I typically do makeup, which is powder down, you know? But let me know your thoughts. Are you planning on getting this? Have you gotten it? What are your thoughts on Kosas? And I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support you always, always show me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!